Primero que todo, somos felices con lo que tenemos. Eh, no necesitamos mucho para ser feliz. Eh, acá vivimos felices con lo que tenemos. Y cada uno de los que viven en este pueblo luchan día a día por vivir el día a día. Siempre es, como comunidad nos esforzamos por, por darle lo mejor de nosotros a todos aquellos que vienen acá. Para nuestros jóvenes y niños, que va a ser muy útil. And it's a great pleasure for us uh, that you're here uh, helping us to build uh, the court for all our kids and it's going to be extremely helpful for us. Super popular. Um, what about Cupid Shuffle? You guys want to read Cupid Shuffle? Cupid Shuffle. Yeah, check out five. You have the. Clap, 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 Courts for Kids and Cyclone Serve are collaborating here to build this court in the community. Um, it's more about us working together than us doing something for them. This was my first time out of the country and coming into a community where you don't speak the same language and we had an idea of what we were doing but in terms of like day-to-day -day routine that was something that we had to find out. Working with the whole community even though like there was some language barriers we still communicated in a way like where we understood all each other. So just to see this whole community come together is pretty cool, so. We had ages from five to 78 working on the court and any way people can help, they're allowed to help and it's encouraged to help and it's, it's just beautiful to see, honestly. Maximo, 78 years old and he's still out here working. <laughs> Their living conditions were definitely something I've never experienced and they take whatever they have and they use it so efficiently and they're always happy. No matter how much or how less they have, it's just they're always smiling, always with, filled with joy. It definitely has opened my eyes as to how grateful I should be for what I have back at home. But I have been telling people all the time, I wish I lived here. Like, this is so amazing, the way that they yeah, live and yeah. the way that it's, yeah. it's yeah. beautiful. It's just pure beautiful. <laughs>
day three of uh, building the core and uh, the community side they want to get done today. The local community, they're all here helping too. We're all bonding together. It's like a family here to get this done for the kids. We've got all hands on deck just to finish, so see what happens. I think it's going to be exciting once the court's finished, you can go play on it. I know one of the local members are saying how like, by having this court, some kids don't know what courts are and what playgrounds are, so having this, it's going to be great for them to use, use every single day. And eight years in the making. Eight years. <laughs> yeah, they've been saving up for eight years to get this year. We're almost done. Last round and then we did it. <laughs> I'm done. We've never met these people. They just know that a group of Americans are coming to help them build a court. And the way that they just brought us in and made us feel like family was something really special. And we created these relationships so fast. Sometimes service, I feel like in uh, my own experience, is something like people, oh, like we have to do service. Like it gets, sometimes it can get a bad reputation, but like after this trip, like service is, service is awesome. Like if you, yeah, we gotta do it more. <laughs> Creo que lo principal es ser feliz. Ser feliz con lo que tenemos. Eh, que vean que, que acá no se necesita mucho para, para ser feliz. Ustedes vieron que, que acá somos felices con poco. Y lo más importante que se deben de llevar de nuestra comunidad es, es nuestra alegría. Para que ustedes la hablen allá con sus familias y con sus profesores, con todas los, las personas que tengan que hablar de acá, que La Guaria es, es un pueblo feliz.